Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Extras. Today we're gonna to be talking about coaching in MCC. It's a topic that other people have discussed before, but I have not, and I also wanna add a little bit more spice to the to the, the topic because certain people are uh, did just mentioned it and didn't explain anything. Chaos. <laughs> so yeah, uh, first of all, there's a team update. Tubba will now be on the purple presence, haha. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this tweet was deleted because uh, Eloise was a bit silly. Uh, here's the the actual new one. Uh, Purple penguins, yeah. Uh, it now no longer has Ponk, and it now has Tubbo. I don't think that makes a huge difference, but typically we've we've seen Ponk. I think get like recently between fifteenth and and twenty fifth, if I remember correctly. Uh, Tubbo. I think his peak is a little higher, so we could see this team suddenly do a lot better. Um, but who knows? Uh, it, I think it, it all comes down to game order yet again, just like any other MCC. It's it's always the game order. Uh, I don't think my predictions really change. I think Purple has a little bit of a better chance at getting into Dodgebolt now, but I don't know if they'll uh, pull it off because some of the other teams are just really, really good. Uh, anyways... First person to mention, Sandwich Lord. Uh, he happens to be live right now. Uh, I was actually watching a little bit before uh, I started recording because, um, yeah, uh, this guy's been commenting on almost every single one of my second channel videos saying that he, he loves Wolfie Mogul Mail, which is, is really nice. I appreciate that. Uh, here's the second one, the third one, uh, the fourth one, the fifth one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, it just keeps going. Uh, and other people have also been doing it, which is great. Please leave more comments so that YouTube loves me. I think that's how it works, but uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, and in return, I will be giving you a shout out. I, I looked at your, your Twitch analytics, uh, and, uh, and, and it seems like you could get partnered at some point. Not entirely, because your average is like, 20 lower than they than needed but with the the wolfie boost maybe we can give you uh, a bit of support um no clue if it if if it'll help but i'm willing to give it a shot so go check out sandwich lord underscore on twitch and uh, he's currently streaming mcc weight room i assume by the time this video goes up he might still be streaming since this video is going up a few hours before mcc uh, so yeah go give him go give him uh, a a watch all right coaching i mentioned chaos earlier uh he, he has a video on this um i i haven't watched it recently but from my memory it just kind of mentions that coaching is a thing and but then doesn't really explain what it does <laughs> uh doesn't really go into death um so yeah i mean i think coaching could be an issue or at least it was an issue. I don't think it is an issue as much anymore because I think the specific teams that I've been getting coached have also been very strong, uh, which I will mention at, like right now, basically. Uh, I, I had to take a screenshot of, of the wiki because it literally showed an advertisement that had my location on it. I don't know how that's allowed. I can't record anymore because it's gonna expose that I live in like France <laughs> I don't live in France, by the way. Anyways, uh, here's the first screenshot. This is from Tommy in it. Um, so I don't know exactly when uh, Sandwich Lord started um, coaching. If I had to guess, I think it was 22 or 23, but I don't know for sure. Now, if you look at the individual performance, uh, you might think, oh, he's he's been improving. He got ninth and he got sixth in a row. And before, he hasn't really done that. Um, but then when you look at the team, you can see that, uh, first of all, these teams got second and first. Second of all, uh, th these teams are really good. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. Zeus is a top player now, or a, a top half player. He gets between 10th and 20th. Uh, Callum is, like, almost consistently top 10, but sometimes, he, he, I'd say his range is, like, 5th till 15th somewhere in the middle or somewhere that range i know his whole joke is like 17th ha 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 i don't know how long it's been since he got 17th aside from block wars um but yeah 
And then uh, Shelby is literally one of the best, quote unquote, bad players you could have. The reason I say that is because Shelby is typically seen as the third or fourth best player on a team. And I think she does very well uh, as as that role. Um, so yeah, very strong team. And obviously, Tommy H. Tubbo and Jack Manifold is insane. <laughs> Your worst player being Jack Manifold, who has gotten top half before, I think, is insane. <laughs> Recently top half, I should clarify. Uh, and then H-Bomb, I'm pretty sure he got first in this event. Tommy got sixth, apparently. Tubbo probably got either top 10 or close to top 10. Um, and then Jack, I wouldn't be surprised if Jack got top half as well in this. I don't remember, but yeah. And then you see that the team after this, this red team was a, a bit of a mess. Uh, it, yeah, it did not go well. <laughs> and then you've, you've got the, the next team, which is today. Uh, I think this team will do pretty good. Um, I could I could see Tommy get uh, like like ninth again, uh, but we'll see. Do I think Sandwich Lord training helped Tommy here? Probably not. I don't know exactly what um, Sandwich Lord tells Tommy in this training, um, but I'd be willing to help if needed. Uh, <laughs> the way so from me as someone who hasn't really trained anyone but i understand how to train people somehow or somewhat uh here's my advice uh you gotta teach people something they already know but tell them how to do it better um for example i actually this might be something uh sandwich said if tommy in it is a sword pvp -er, and uh, and there's the opportunity to use an axe, but it's a risk. Don't tell him to use the axe. <laughs> if he's good with a sword and inexperienced with an axe, don't tell him, hey, you should use the axe. Because there's a high likelihood that he will not do well with an axe if he doesn't know how to use an axe. Whereas a sword, if you just tell him to play, like, position himself differently in sword PvP, that can help. Because if he's already confident in being able to hit consistently it's more about where he is at a certain time that will benefit him that's my advice like said if you need me to help i'm i'm willing to but i also understand if you don't need my help that is completely okay next person phil i'm pretty sure phil gets trained by sandwich lord i could be wrong um this is another situation where i think does the training really help maybe maybe not I assume it would be around the same time, so MCC 23, maybe 24, maybe, I don't know, when it when it started. Um, compared to previous events, I don't really think the training is doing that much, but I could be wrong. Um, obviously, the last event, he, he won. He got 11th as well, which is pretty good. Um, however, I do think his team was pretty good. I don't remember where Ollie and Shelby placed, but... Teaming with fruit berries and then getting two people who are both not bad at the game is pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty strong. Yet again, I don't know if the if the, the 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 coaching really helped. If it's not apparent, I don't think it's an issue. Next person, Skeppy. Now Skeppy's sample size is a little small. He's had two events. Uh, on the first team, he got a team that I think was probably not very strong. Uh, I don't know if Harvey already was was having. Uh, issues with with getting high performances but um yeah that team is probably not great uh and then the second team which was broken <laughs> like even skeppy at a 36th individual i think would still be busted on that team um but hey it happened i know i know shane or, or five men gave them some some coaching or at least bad boy halo and skeppy were given some coaching um do I think it helped? Maybe. It's hard to really say. Um, I imagine it helped a, at least a little bit uh, for, for Bad and Skeppy. Um, but like said, we can't really uh, determine that because it's so hard to, to see uh, on Skeppy's side at least. Uh, I've always known that Skeppy was not a bad player. He just had a bad performance and then stopped playing. Uh, so maybe the coaching helped, maybe it didn't. Well, let's go to the last person, which is Bad Boy Halo. 
Now, if you look at Bad's performances, does the coaching help? No, not really. Uh, he got almost the exact same performance as the event before. Um, on a team that I think is pretty okay, I, see, I can see that team not being the best. I don't remember how recently uh, Sylvie got such a improvement. I also don't know what happened in MCC 21. I, I don't remember, but uh -huh. how do you get your your lowest performance on that team? Huh? <laughs> Maybe I missed something, but that's a little confusing. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know if the, the training really did anything uh, for bad side. I assume maybe it did a little bit, but not a lot. Like I said, the, the yellow team was just very good. Um, so yeah, does coaching help in MCC? Is it a problem? Does it help? Maybe yes. Probably yes. Does it help a lot? Not really. Does it mean that it's a problem? Probably not. Um, the only time that it was a problem was <laughs> many years ago, uh, t two years ago probably at this point, when uh, Shane, or Fire Breath Man, uh, trained Techno and Dream, who then both improved a lot <laughs> in a very short amount of time. Or at least they, they pulled some weird strategies that, uh, that weren't seen before, and that's because those strategies were secret. Um, and, and not meant to be shared, probably. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think training now is not really a problem. Um, if someone suddenly has a spike in performance uh, because of training, then maybe it could be a problem, but I think right now it's fine. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my, my thoughts on training. I know this was probably a little bit of a slow uh, video. It's because I very recently woke up uh, and also, today is a busy day. So yeah, uh, I forgot to say, uh, today is day three of, of daily December. Uh, tomorrow is day four. Um, maybe because I did that, I'll have to upload another video today. Oh well, we'll see. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.